pop news right now with our friends. Today we're calling it LSP128. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And we begin right now with this. Drake can't catch a break. Or maybe it's the teams he roots for that need the break. The so-called Drake curse that strikes again, everybody, this time in the world of professional soccer. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, here's the backstory. On social media, it's been tracked that the rapper has a way of, well, jinxing the teams that he supports, like Alabama, who got a surprise beat down by Clemson in the national championships after Drake rooted for them. Same thing for Conor McGregor and also the Toronto Maple Leafs. He went to game four of their playoff game. And yep, they lost at home in a game many predicted they would win. So now it's soccer in Europe. Drake poses with Leven Kurzawa, who plays for the Paris Saint-Germain team. And yes, the next day, his team had the biggest loss in 19 oh, no. years. Oh, that's Is anybody awesome. seeing um, any sort of us? Uh, there seems to be some consistency in the story. Players from Arsenal and Manchester also losing their next no. games after no. posing oh, come on. with Drake. Stop. So it's come to this. Roma, <laughs> the team in Italy, issuing a red card, <laughs> tweeting all Roma players are now banned from oh. taking photos with Drake until end of season. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> It's a joke, it I is know, a joke, yeah. but <laughs> but kind of not. Drake has not commented on this latest request. He's been a good sport about it, though, in the past. Understanding there have been these unfortunate coincidences, he posed in a sweatshirt with the logos of the four remaining teams in the NFL playoffs, <laughs> seeming to offer, offer equal opportunity, bad luck. Oh, Which actually God. happened. I remember those last two games were filled with controversy. Don't talk Drake, about my please. Saints. Don't talk about my Saints. We I can't know. go there. So, Drake, um, maybe chess. <laughs> Give that a shot. Uh, also in pop news this morning, Madonna out with new music. Or, <laughs> or perhaps we now call her Madam X. That's the name of her new album. It's a collaboration with reggaeton singer Maluma. Here's a little sampling of her new single, Medellin. I went back to my 17th year. She sounds good. <laughs> she met at the 2018 VMAs last summer. They began collaborating on this Spanish-English mix single. Uh, this is the first single off Madam X, Madonna's 14th album, dropping June 14th. Good to hear she's back. And finally, ladies, some good news. The brains behind Bridesmaids are at it again. Kristen Wiig and co-writer and longtime friend Annie Mamulo. They wrote the classic comedy eight years ago, and they have teamed up now on a new comedy titled, I love saying this, Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like the title's funny. You're off to a great start. The story follows two best friends who leave their small Midwestern town for the first time to go on a vacation to Vista Del Mar. Oh, we so hope their flight goes a little <laughs> something like this. Wait, I saw her. There's something they're not telling us. Let's get out. Let's open the doors and get out. Look out your way. She is dressed in traditional colonial garb. Oh, yeah. oh, say goodbye. We're going down. <laughs> that's Mamolo <laughs> sitting next to Kristen in the scene. So their new movie promises adventure and hilarity when the duo is just trying to have fun, and then they find themselves wrapped up in a villain's evil plot to kill everyone in this sunny little town. Wig, Mamolo, such a producing co-star, Barb and Star, go to Vista Del Mar. It hits theaters next year. <laughs> I love it. I know, I love it. It's so cute. That's and exciting. Yeah. Let's get them on GMA, Let's shall we? Let's do it. Done. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.